Now there are three pricing tiers. They're, the most of them are gonna be $9.99 or $14.99. It's the, it depends on the size of the city. What's up, Airbnb Nation? Today, with this video, I will be giving an overview of a data analytics tool called All The Rooms. The link will be in the description below, by the way. This is gonna be a very broad overview. This is a brand new tool. But the reason why I wanted to make a video about it right now is to make you aware of it. Because they're making significant improvements over the next few months, they have direct improvements and plans that they're working on. I'm gonna be making a few videos introducing these tools when they develop. Right now, it will just be a brief overview. The reason why I'm making this video, honestly, a little bit too early, because they have some really neat features coming up, is to introduce you to them because they're seeking feedback. And this is why I really like this company. They have a bright future. They're, they're, they reached out to me for feedback about how they can improve their tool. They're gonna, they are a direct competitor to AirDNA. And I see a very bright future for them. I'm looking forward to the data that they can provide. So while I'm going through this video, think about things that data that you want to see in the future. Leave a comment below with this information and chances are that you'll see that in an upcoming uh, rendition of the, of the dashboard here. So. When we sign in here, you're gonna see three tools. Today, I'm gonna to go, just go over the market intelligence. We'll briefly touch on property score and competitive intelligence. These have, a, all three have a lot of updates, but especially these two. So you're gonna sign in. Now there are three pricing tiers. They're, the most of them are gonna be $9.99 or $14.99. It's the, it depends on the size of the city. I have a few markets ready to go here. I'm currently in Medellin, so let's let's check out Medellin. If you needed to purchase this, there would be a yellow purchase button up here, by the way. So just a brief overview, again, very brief overview, but this is what the dashboard looks like. It's nice, it's beautiful up here in the right, upper right corner is where you can have, you can filter for some items here. Let's go, I just purchased a studio here in Medellin. So let's filter it by that. We can see 1400 listings. This is all of Medellin. This is the Laureles area. This is Poblado, the most popular area. And then we got Envigado down here. Okay, so what we're looking at now is just data for entire home, studio and one bedroom. We got the average daily rate. These are just quick snapshots. All of the data here has uh, little pop-ups that can give you some more information about what the data is. If you were to click any of these, it will scroll you down below, which we will have a look at soon. Okay, available supply and revenues. Now, if you, again, if you click any of these, you're gonna come down here. It gives you one year data. You can change that. You can change it here. Uh, what, what I want to do is click a few of these. Now, keep in mind, if you're watching this video, you're probably the best in your market. So we're really, we don't really wanna know about 25th percentile, even 75th percentile. 90th percentile means what is the top 10% performers doing in this market? That's what we wanna know. And here is the data. So occupancy rate uh, is important, especially for the, uh, this, is, this is historical, this is historical. Down below, it's gonna be future. We'll have a look at that in a second. Available supply, we can see the trend here. Revenues, market revenue is interesting. Let's have a look at that. Oh, hey, can I ask you a favor? Click the red subscribe button below and the bell next to it for notifications because it will make me very happy and encourage me to make more videos. Thank you. So this actually tells you, wow, the market made $5.8 million the past year, which is during the pandemic. Nights booked, re revenue per night. These are all, these should, this should give you the 90th percentile. So yes, you wanna filter out all of the averages, not really relevant to folks like us. Now, if we go down to the next box here, this is future data. Future data, let's see. Future booked rate, rates at which are being booked in the future for uh, studios and one bedrooms. Now, um, Let's see future demand here. Okay, so this is gonna be occupancy, 21% occupied today, rather low, it's, we're not in the high season. But uh, an immediately 
use of this tool is if you're in a city with a lot of big conferences, well, you can have a look at this and say, you know, three months down the road, if, if these days are 80% occupied, well, that's pretty highly occupied. You know that you're gonna to wanna to raise your price. And even you can kind of probably take a gamble and say, look, if it's already 80% occupied, I can probably hold out and get a lot more money than the than the smart tools uh, predict, which is one of the downsides of this uh, the intelligent pricing tools. They don't do as well a job for these really premier events, conferences that, that are brought to cities. They raise the price, but not enough in my opinion. Future demand is interesting. One more thing I wanted to look at, let's look at, Let's change this to four bedrooms, maybe. Let's take off one bedroom in studio and see how that changes. 268. Okay. So the, the this, just to call out, a, I wanna call out a few things immediately available. So if you're researching markets to purchase, uh, what you can do here, this will give you a good indicator Okay, so studios and one bedrooms were making, it was, what was it, 40, 40 bucks a night? And four bedrooms are at 268, 250, let's call it. So what this can tell you is it, it gives you, you need to know the supply, while studios and one bedrooms might be more popular, what this seems to suggest is that while the demand, the guests booking, might be lower overall, the supply for four bedrooms is actually more restricted, causing an increase in price that is that is higher than the rental price or the investment price. Said a different way, if I'm gonna buy a one bedroom home and I'm gonna I can rent it out for let's say 50 bucks a night, or I have an option to buying a four bedroom home and I can rent it out for 250 bucks a night. Well, is the cost of renting or buying, depending on what you're gonna do, be, is it gonna be five times the amount from 50 to 250 bucks? My guess is probably not. And if we're looking in Medellin right now, I know undoubtedly that is false. It, prices are not five times as much for a, a four bedroom as opposed to one bedroom. So this is a good data point that you could use in this specific instance. So if you decide to purchase a city and on, on all the rooms, you can use the code OPTIMIZE20 for 20% off the, the initial fee. There's gonna be a monthly fee and then a one-time initial fee, 20% off that fee. Now the score, there's this, this will be beefed up in the future. This was a listing I added that I stayed at in Envigado when I was here. It's a city, it's actually a different city just to the south, it's a metropolitan area. So this gives you a score, uh, quit like a, like, a, like a credit score, quick, quick snapshot of what you're doing. They're gonna beef this out. Right now, not super helpful. Maybe if the score was really low, it would give you some indicators to say, okay, I should be checking this out because this is comparing you to your competitors in the state and in the city. And finally, competitors, this is gonna be built out a lot. I had a conversation with the team today. You can, you will be able to, you can now, but the data is still being built up, but you're gonna basically be able to spy on your competitors. How cool is that? So the listing that I have highlighted is right here in blue. So keep your eye on that. Okay, there, that concludes my brief overview of all the rooms, a really exciting data analytics tool of the future. You can get your hands on it now and start getting familiar with it. The great thing about it, even though it doesn't have as much data as their competitors like AirDNA, the price is one fifth. So that's a nice savings there. Remember to use my code OPTIMIZE20 to get 20% off the initial startup fee. Any comments you have for me or for the company, post them here and your information will be brought directly to the company by me. Until the next video, which I will be making over the next few months, happy hosting.